Hey there, it's your host Dan. Today I'm going to show you how to do a tune-up on an Eaton M90 supercharger that's common on a lot of GM 3.8 or 3800 series V6 engines. We're going to get two things accomplished today. We're going to get the belt changed and a lot of times for the supercharger you'll see the 670 and the part number for that belt. I've got a 15 millimeter socket on a ratchet and I'm also going to use the pipe off my floor jack that uses a breaker bar. We're going to do the oil change. All you need is a 3 16 Allen and a spray bottle. So let's get started changing the belt. To release the belt we have to release the tension off of it and here's the pulley, the tensioner pulley. It's about under your middle coil. So I've got the 15 millimeter socket on there with the ratchet and my style of breaker bar and I'm going to go ahead and crank this clockwise to release the belt. Take note too of how the belt was on here when you're taking it off so you know how it's going to go back on. And then we're going to take our old belt we're going to want to hold it against our new one. We're going to want to make sure it's the same length, which yep, it looks to be. Okay, so now I can proceed with installing the new belt. And I'll start by reaching down there and getting it around the crank pulley first. I've got the new belt in place. I've got the socket back on the tensioner. Just make sure you got it on all the ribs down there on the pulleys and on the crank otherwise you're gonna have a hard time stretching this over and we'll just pull back on the tension and stretch it over and we're all done belt was pretty simple it took about two minutes to change that belt and here's why I replaced that belt the ribbing on it it's cracking this belt is starting to get old and and brittle. You know it's not imperative because this is just the belt for only the supercharger. If it did throw the belt you know it's not like the car would run you would just have reduced power. My main belt the other belt down there looks okay it doesn't look like this so I'm gonna leave that alone. With the supercharger belt done let's move on to the oil change. We're gonna use our 3 16 Allen and remove this plug right here and the snout of the supercharger. I'm going to unscrew it all the way out. I'll make sure you just don't drop this. Be careful. There we go. I'm going to set this aside. I'll be employing the spray bottle method of getting the old fluid out of the snout here of the supercharger, which is really not that hard. You could use a pump if you have one. I just don't have one. I don't feel like going out to buy one, and this should work just as well. So the idea is just put the sprayer in there. Stick that in the jug and start spraying. And there we go, I can already see it come up. And just start spraying it out. There's about six ounces or so in the snout of the supercharger. It should take you probably uh, five, ten minutes to get this all sprayed out. Okay, I'm getting nothing but air now. It only took five minutes with the hand pump. Looks like we got pretty much about all of it out. Pretty clear looking. I was expecting it to be pitch black and dark and crusty looking. I'm going to use the end of a turkey baster as my funnel. I'll put a rag in here just in case. In case I spill any, it falls down in there. Okay, get that in our hole. Maybe about six ounces so I can pour the first can all the way in. On our second bottle we just want to be careful because we're only going to want to pour about half of this in. Nice thing is with the turkey baster if you accidentally put just a little too much in you can pull just a little bit back out. You'll want the level to be right at the bottom of the bottom thread there and I'm wiggling the car and I can see it just just starting to touch it so we're full. And there I'll put the little plug back in. 
tighten up our plug. Well, all right, I'm all done. This is such an easy project. Anybody can do this and get it done within about 30 minutes. The bell cost me $18, and the fluid is a little pricey. Two bottles, four ounces each. Both of the bottles cost me $26 shipped to my door. Now, GM put out a bulletin way back when that said if they were doing a service like this and they didn't have this on their shelf, that they could use synthetic 5W20, which I'd like to think that there's a little something more to this fluid here in this bottle than, you know, some off-the-shelf synthetic. So this is what my car calls for, and this is what I'm going to put in. You only got to do this service once every 50,000, 60,000 miles. So I've got a long ways to go before I would have to do this again. The whole project only cost me $42 total. You'd expect to pay about $150 for this at a dealership. I hope you enjoyed the tips I have for you here today. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. And as always, thanks for watching.